What I'm holding here is a Cermet saw. Ceramic steel tip saw blade manufactured by Cut Technologies in Bellingham, Washington. This saw blade was designed to replace the abrasive disc in the common chop saw that you buy at any store. This will go in a cold cut saw, dry cut, and it'll also go up to a 3900 RPM chop saw. This 14 inch diameter saw with 88 teeth with a 1 inch bore is designed to cut through low carbon steels with conventional products. Their manufacturer also in a 12 inch, 10 inch, 7 and a quarter, and we also manufacture it in a 4 9 16 for a right angle grinder. Good for cutting aluminums, good for cutting um, pipes and tubes and steels for grading, for catwalking material, for uh, steel studs. The nice thing about this type of blade is that you can cut with virtually no or limited sparks. There's no heat, there's no gas, there's no oxides, there's no carcinogenics that you can get from an abrasive disc. It cuts 10 times faster than an abrasive disc, much cleaner, much straighter, smoother also cuts faster than carbide and is fracture resistance to carbide. It's a lot easier on the wear resistibility. You meet the metal and you push through. I usually use this blade and think about cutting a piece of wood, not cutting a piece of steel. And that way I know that I'm going to meet the material and feed through it. The worst thing you could do with some of the do's and don'ts would be to cut slow. If you cut too slow, you're going to sit in there and you're going to grind with it. And if you grind with it, you're going to prematurely fracture or dull the edges. Try to cut the material with the welds on the side, not on the bottom. If you have the weld on the bottom, then the saws will end up dulling prematurely. So when we're cutting a flat piece of material, we want to push through. We don't want to sit on it. We want to push through really quick. Or Turn it at an angle so that you get a better cut angle at it. Same with angle irons. Cut this way rather than this way. Makes a big difference in the life of your blade. Some of the things we don't want you to cut. We don't want you to cut hydraulic hose because it frays. The little wires that are inside the hydraulic hose act like a toothbrush and will dull prematurely all the edges of your blade and you'll have to have it sharpened. But that's the good thing about it. You can sharpen this blade three to four times. Any saw shop, any local saw shop is able to sharpen it and we can supply in tips to replace the odd tip if you do have a loss of tooth. Now stay away from ductile irons, stay away from cast irons. Those things are normally scored and cracked. They're not usually cut. If there's any questions, please contact Cut Technologies in Billingham, Washington. We'd be happy to tell you more about this wonderful blade.